Are you ready to equally divide a circle into fractions? Don't worry, it's easy and fun with Ed Emberley's Picture Pie. Let's take a look. This book shows how a circle divided like a pie into half circles, quarter circles, and eighths of a circle can be used to make pictures of all kinds of things. These four simple basic shapes can be put back together and make a set of other more complex shapes like these. Let's try it. First, let's review. We have the whole circle. We have the half circle, the quarter circle, and the eighth of a circle. Let's test it. One, two halves make a whole. One, two, three, four quarters make a whole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eights make a whole. All right. Now let's make this pink shape, shall we? All right, I'm gonna take this pink quarter and I see that it's oriented with a flat edge facing up and a curve facing towards me. Now the second quarter is flipped around and one of its edges is aligned with that one and its curve facing away. We did it. Okay, this next shape uses three eighths of a circle. Two of the eighths have their arc pointed up with their arc tips just touching. And one eighth of a circle in between. Very good. Let's see what else is in the book. Oh, look at this. Isn't it wonderful? It gets more and more complex. Wow, I'm inspired. I wanna make something like this. Let's see. I'm gonna start with my whole circle. And I had the idea of creating a square using the flat edges of my half circles. I'm gonna need two more to do that. Oh, look at that. Now, hmm. Oh, I wanna put this quarter circle just in the nook of where the half circles meet. I'm gonna put this one above that one and follow the pattern. Wow, I feel like I made another square. See that? But I have these eighths of a circle that I wanna use. So I'm gonna keep going. Hmm, ooh, I wanna place these eights adjacent to the quarters with their flat edges aligned. Look at that, it's so pleasing to my eye. 
I'm going to repeat the pattern above here and continue. Oh, look at what I did. I feel so proud of it. It's just unique. And you know, working with these felt manipulatives, all of these wonderful fractions of a circle, I've actually been enhancing my understanding of spatial reasoning. You know, there's three main components of spatial reasoning. The first one is the concepts of space. Now, the concepts of space consist of used space, where the pieces are, negative space, where the pieces are not, uh, length, width, depth, and so on. The second component of spatial reasoning is our tools of communication. And that would be the vocabulary words that you heard me use to describe what was happening. Also would be uh, blocks that we're actually using to build or computer models, uh, uh, tiles, magnetic tiles, and even these felt manipulatives right here on my board. The third component is the processes of reasoning. And what that is, is rotating a shape to fit or aligning it with another, building a structure. That is the processes of reasoning. And I've really enhanced all of those skills by doing this. Let's see what else is in this book. It gets more and more complex. Here's borders, repeating patterns. Let's see, as well as a number of birds and other things, here's how. So there's step-by-step -step instructions on how to create now birds. The turtle. Trees, fish. I want to get to, oh, look it. You can use it to show math problems, the con, uh, concrete visual aids for fractional math problems. Wonderful. This is what I wanted to get to because Ed Emberly has uh, included a project, hands-on project for really getting to understand how to equally divide this circle into its fractions. You'll need construction paper, hopefully a variety of colors, scissors, glue, pencil, something to make a circle like a compass or a circular object to trace. And then here's the instructions. You fold the circle and then cut to create the half circle, fold the half circle and cut to create the quarter circle, and fold the quarter circle and cut to create the eighth of a circle. Simple and easy and fun too. And then there's step-by-step -step instructions here for creating all the different things that are in the book, like the birds. The insects, the fish, and so on. When I got done with this book, I was so inspired. And I had a, a variety of my felt manipulatives. So I went ahead and created all of this. It was so much fun. I know you'll have fun too. And I wanna end with what Ed Emberly writes here. 
It is possible to show only a few of the many things that can be made using the picture pie parts. Much has been left for you to explore, discover, and take pleasure in. I hope you do.